This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, it's Raziel Kim. I'm back with another tour review and today... Boulder Crash? Boulder... Yeah, Boulder Crash from the Infernac Universe. Uh, the Inhumanoids show of the 80s. Who shared a... Um, uh, what's the Multiverse? No, it's a shared universe with uh, the uh, Transformers, G.I. Joe and Gem. All linked by the amazing Hector Ramirez who's of course a par parody of Gervaldo so uh, but this actually Firetox recommended this figure uh, to me uh, while both uh, Infernac figures because he's a huge uh, fan of Rock Lords and of course these being made out of uh, well the outer shell being made of rocks uh, it's really cool so he recommended it uh, he said that the little back pin uh, might uh, bother me it really doesn't I really enjoyed this toy, uh, probably more than Magnus. So you know, you never know what you're gonna like unless you uh, you try it. So this is a fantastic little core class toy, and he transforms into a sword or something. But that's it's kind of lame. But the robot itself, pretty cool. But before I do the review, I just want to remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of. And also check out GJC Collectibles, my sponsor, a fantastic online store. And at the end of this video, you can get your 10% discount code for anything Transformers. And now let's roll the intro. go this is boulder crash and he looks good uh, the box standard uh, legacy stuff legacy united uh, nice little product shot or artwork for this one product shot here uh, 10 steps and of course he's a weapon uh, I don't know why they wrote armorizer there but anyway infernac universe boulder crash and the rest nice artwork again instructions are very good standard Asbro stuff nothing to complain and you have the um, accessory which is something uh, you know it's a blade and that's gonna be used for the alt mode and uh, you can put it uh, in his hand like that it's huge but it works and now for this guy, I dig the look of him. I like the, uh, reminds me of a Vicon from Beast Machine. Uh, the, the way the face sculpt is made, you know, like just the face plate, not necessarily the asymmetrical head, uh, which looks really good. And this is also asymmetrical, uh, you know, different mold for the arms, uh, well, the shoulders, because the arms are a reflection of each other. Uh, the legs are yeah different. I like that. I really dig that. I mean Hasbro made a uh, good effort on these uh, kind of hollow under uh, you know behind here and under the arms and there's that peg. Lots of people don't like it. Um, it serves its purpose. It does. And you know it's while well, it yeah it looks like crap from the front and the side and the back. It, it's not that great. I like the paint here, it's like lava all around the rock. Very nicely done. Hasbro did a good job on these guys. Uh, for articulation, you do have a ball joint at the head, uh, and then it kind of rotates like that because of the transformation, so that's something you want to, you know, have fun with. Uh, you do have a, a kind of a butterfly because of transformation, but you do have your Ferris wheel and your elbow bend no problem the hands don't move you do have your merry-go-round but it's a very annoying rotation because of the peg so when you turn it you want to you know move everything perfectly so that it doesn't scratch and then you have uh, the uh, bend for the knee i'm doing it backwards because now i'm going to transform it uh, and I don't want to turn this thing around again, but I guess I'll have to because anyway, it's just annoying to turn around. Doesn't take too much time though. It's just impractical. 
All right, so let's do some size comparison for this guy. Uh, and that's that's where the peg could get a little annoying. Sometimes you want to move the legs around and they they hit. Ah, there you go. So here is Boulder Crash with G1 Sideswipe, Kingdom Rodimus Prime, and Kingdom Tracks. Just to remind everyone that he has terrible leg transformation. And now let's uh, put this guy in alt mode. It's very simple. I'll actually do it on screen. So you want to lift this flap here, put this thing down, open the butterflies, rotate, and then again, rotate the annoying legs. And then you take that peg here, and there's holes here. Put it like this. Uh, what am I doing wrong? Nothing. All right. So that it pegs this way. So he's a tricycle, not a bicycle. Uh, or a motorcycle. I don't recall the name. I'm not a biker, so whatever is the name you give to a vehicle like that that's what he is and then you plug the arms here there's actually let me there's a peg here for a peg hole here and then you take this you extend it flip it and then there's two pegs on each side we are gonna go in this and this is asymmetrical so you might have to fiddle with it because sometimes it it, uh, it blocks so you have to move the arm a bit and then force everything down there you go and there's a well it's not really a clip there's just a hole here for that uh, pin there so there you go there you go boulder crash in alt mode and he looks really good actually i really like the look of this uh, tri motorized tricycle let's call it that um he rolls fine this is a fa uh, you know flat sur uh, soft surface so and it still works uh, perfectly better than Magnus. Um, I guess there's a bit of a headlight here. Maybe that's a machine gun. I don't know. Uh, looks fine. Uh, nice detail here for the, uh, the shocks or the support. The different, uh, and the wheels are not with that dumbass mushroom peg that everybody hates. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's this looks the part. And I mean, you could put uh, somebody sit here, I guess. Might be a little uncomfortable. There's no handles. Um, so that's, I guess, a little negative. Uh, but I mean, with the paint and the rocky exterior, it looks freaking amazing. I really, I'm Fire Talks, thank you so much for recommending this. Uh, I think I'll end it here just for, hey, get this fit? No. That would have been fun, but I think I'll end it here. Uh, and just a quick reshoot, because I totally forgot to show you guys the weapon mode. So, uh, it's like, super simple. Uh, you take this, flip it upwards, and there you go. So, the 5mm port, which is not really long. But uh, you just uh, put it into a uh, robot. Let's, uh, let's see if it works on a masterpiece. Uh, no, it doesn't. Okay, so I guess the masterpiece stuff is not compatible. All right, I did not know that. All right, let's check with strong arm here. And that's God, man, that's a tight fit. Uh, and it's way too big for a deluxe size uh do i have any leaders around hold on better i have a commander and his uh, ten tension joint probably will be able to hold that weight see that's the thing they the peg is too short it's just you know because this gets in the way so I'm trying to, or maybe it's Ultra Magnus hand, the way it's designed and the, yeah. God, this is not good. All right, Tiger Hawk maybe. There you go. 
So yeah, that's and his joint is actually strong enough to hold it. So that's cool. It looks silly. All right, back to the well. This is the end of the reshoot. So back to wherever I was. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this quick review. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. Love reading those. Keep coming back. I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care.